Welcome back to Morning Live. Now, before we take a look at some of our regular features on the show, tonight is Lotto Night. And, of course, uh, there's a big jackpot up for grab. As you can see it on your sidebar, it's a big 73 million rand. Now, of course, you can play Lotto, Lotto Plus One, as well as Lotto Plus Two. And who knows, today could be your day and you could just walk away with your portion of that 73 million rand. All right. But moving on now into our regular features right here on the show. I am, of course, on the main news day with SK and uh, SK we're gonna take a look at the question of the day indeed let's do that uh, so uh, of course today um, the commemoration of what happened at Marikana 11 years ago uh, that's what our question centers around so let's take a look at that uh, we're asking you um, 11 years after the Marikana massacre has there been any significant change do you believe to improve the lives of the mine workers and their families uh, and the community of course around that mining facility let us know your thoughts at morning live sabc and we love uh, those voice notes so send us those short sharp to the point on 0784591897 just give us your name and then just get to the point as succinctly as you can uh, we uh, certainly will be sharing a lot of those as many as we can throughout the course of morning live yes those voice notes absolutely my favorite right here on the show but let's now take a look at some of your trending topics this morning on social media on twitter or x however you would like to call it yeah <laughs> I, I i'm still struggling with x you know like <laughs> me um, too <laughs> so so uh, and maybe i should make time to go and look at this is it now officially of course the um the tweet, yes. uh, the, 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 the Bird. birdie is gone. Yes, and they sold off all of that stuff because I saw when they were saying they um, had an auction mm -hmm. to sell off all of the bird-related merchandise and everything that they had in their offices. I think the, the bird is dead. No, the bird is <laughs> dead. But do we now officially, do we still refer to it as Twitter or is it now X? I would just say it's X. I, I, I'm still <laughs> struggling. Let's call it Twitter X. <laughs> you see, now we're starting something new. Okay, X. Um, so we'll wait for your comments on X at yes. uh, Morning Live SABC. All right, let's take a look at those uh, tweets now and uh, the, the the training topics. But uh, so okay, but <laughs> this what do is we why call I'm them here. when it's an X. Do we call them? Or, let's take a look at the X's. Or are we still looking at tweets? I I don't know. But all the same. <laughs> Uh, here are your top trending topics. So first up, hashtag Mshololo, who's of course um, a defense attorney for one of the accused in the Senza Mayua murder trial. And uh, yesterday in a cross-examining the state witness, um, Officer Mtetwa, mm. um, Zandile Mshololo really was not letting up and uh, basically got him to concede mm. that the crime scene was not cordoned off. It was left unattended. Mm. So uh, there could have been all sorts of tampering that could have taken place on mm. that crime scene. And essentially making and driving home the yeah. point and that the police were ground. derelict She in their stood duty. her ground because I know at some point the judge wanted to interject and come in and she was like, she I need to get it. this point across. Yeah. And, 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 and that was quite a strong interaction mm. with the judge as well. Uh, but uh, yeah, Zandilem Shalolo, uh, many people talking about that. And of course, that cross-examination continues today in mm. the Pretoria High Court. All right, and then uh, taking a look at our second trending topic, hashtag dreadlocks. I used to have dreadlocks, but um, SK, I'll leave this one to you. <laughs> so uh, there's, this is the latest in the hair saga. You know, once again, children at school and hair. Uh, this time at um, a Christian academy in Midran, uh, here in Gauteng. And um, the parents, um, you know, basically went to the school to confront the principal about the fact that their daughter seemingly was going to be excluded for having her hair in locks. So let's take a look at that. I'm definitely going to stop, but I'm going to make sure that I expose you. Yeah. Do, do not touch my child. Do not. Silence, stand here and wait. Help us understand who we are. Jesus is people, not a superior. You are not lying about the fact that she owes Steve. When she doesn't, purely to Because you find something. Exist. Shame on you. And then you lie and say you are a Christian. You are lying. You've got no politeness, you've got no kindness in your heart. You've got no empathy for nothing. You are a racist person that is ignorant, that doesn't understand who we are. You should be ashamed of who you are as a person. Oh, my God. 
Wow. You have no wow. right to kill wow. that guy. Wow. You have wow. no right to kill that guy. Wow. Well, no, 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 take your bag, take your bag, it's fine. Wait, take your bag, wait, take your bag. So, uh, this is something that was uploaded on Twitter yesterday, an incident that took place at a Christian private school in Midrand. And uh, the parents, of course, saying that uh, their daughter, um, uh, the school had somehow changed the code of conduct, yeah. uh, which now essentially meant that her, their daughter could no longer wear her, her locks. Locks, mm. and 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 you know the thing about dreadlocks. And um, I remember having a conversation with Jabu Stone uh, mm. some years ago, and he was talking about the fact that we should not refer to our hair as dreadlocks mm. because the, of the negative connotation That's associated that. with yeah. dread. Uh, you know, why should it induce dread mm. to have your hair in locks? Yeah. And uh, therefore, uh, you know, I looked at that and I thought the locks mm. because this this is your natural hair that you are simply shaping into locks so drop the dread Unless they are call hair locks. locks yeah they are Simple. hair locks but End this of story. video absolutely sad um sk i mean the fact that someone has to go through this in 2023 and i mean it also just shows the struggle of parents you guys go through so much i am so grateful that i don't have to deal with schools anymore i really yeah. am but 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 a very unfortunate incident there and it's going to be interesting to see how this mm -hmm. develops further but again um black women black children and the hair struggle mm. seems to continue. It does continue. All right, the next trending topic that we're looking at this morning is hashtag Northwest. And of course, as alluded to earlier on in the news, um, today is, of course, 11 years since the Americana massacre took place. Indeed. So um, the Northwest trending for that reason. But uh, there's also another reason. And, and I picked this up um, on some of the other threads uh, around Northwest. And I'm just trying to, um, you know, find it. But just from memory, um, there was a thread about the um, unemployment statistics. Mm. And Northwest seems to be at the highest end mm. of that with over 50% unemployment. Mm. So that is something that also caught people's attention. And yeah. then there was a whole discussion about uh, some of the contributing factors mm. to that high unemployment and rate in the Northwest province. And statistics came out, um, was it yesterday? yesterday yeah. And I mean, there was, of course, a little a bit of a drop. drop, but most of those jobs now coming in in the mining sector, which is a bit sad as well, because this is a sector that you would expect to be doing so much better uh, in South Africa. Yeah, so it's indeed. But 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 you know, the, the mining sector has been one of those who have literally been uh, carrying uh, the country <laughs> as it back. were. So mm -hmm. uh, even through the COVID years. So it's 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 we need to find a solution to the unemployment mm -hmm. uh, crisis in the country. We need to grow this economy and it isn't rocket science. But mm -hmm. why we haven't been able to do it? Yeah. All right, we we'll look forward to that. Our final training topic for this morning, hashtag pirates. Um, now this one is very interesting. So firstly, pirates playing out to a one all draw against Chipper United. So Chipper having gotten a point out of both, so it's a giants. Um, and also that whole poll situation that I saw on social media. <laughs> SK, you can speak about that no, one. No, no, I don't no. Know you can just speak listen, about the game. Listen, you started it. <laughs> Continue, please. I, I don't know no, what was going on there. I don't, don't want to be uh, accused of all sorts of things. I don't know what was going on there. But let's just stick to the football that was played on the field of play. I mean, I think a lot of people were expecting Pirates to win over Chipper United. So Morgan Mamela does have the bragging rights now, having taken a point from them. Of course, we saw them in the MTN 8 getting five goals against Kukuna United before that winning 4-2 against Royal AM. So, I, I mean, I think not um, the result the Buccaneers were looking for, but um, Chipper United certainly will take the point. Yeah, strong start for Chipper United. Uh, they took, um, uh, uh, you know, a draw against Chiefs as mm. well. So, you know, they, they I think they always, uh, you know, up their game when they're playing against the bigger side. Of course.